This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to make some final edits to the brush and put the bristles on. So a couple commands that work really well for making some final edits are the cage edit command and bend. And we're going to use both of those here. So for cage edit, we go to transform, cage editing, and choose cage edit. And select the captive object. It's going to be our brush. And right click. And we're prompted for the control object. I'm going to choose bounding box. Coordinate system, we're going to leave it world, so right click. And we're going to increase the cage point count for the Y. Make sure you set that to 10. So we have 4, 10, and 4. So there's going to be more control points going in this direction than there are in the X and the Z. Right click. We're going to leave the region to edit as global. Again. And you can see we have 10 points going this way, and 4, and 4. So I'm going to take a couple sections here and just slide these down a little bit. Slide that one back up. So I'm just moving the thumb piece down a little. Add some curvature to it. So this is great once you have your object and can't edit it with control points because of the fact that it's a poly surface, but you can still get away with using cage edit. Press escape, and you're done, and we can delete that. And you can see I add a little bit of bow to it as compared to my original curves that I had drawn. So you can try some different things in coming up with different iterations of your model. And I want to bend the head of the brush. We go back into the right view and choose Transform and Bend. The object to bend is the brush. And right click. And the start of the spine, I'm going to start the bottom of the neck here, click, end of the spine, I'm going to hold shift and click. You can see now that we can bend this up. Now I'm going to bring the mouse back down. You can see how this stays flat as opposed to if I bring it out here, the whole head curves. So I'm going to move this back, keeping the head flat. I just want to bend the neck a little bit, put a little angle on it, and click. And it bends it, so now I've got the bent head or angled head brush. Put this curve on the red layer, which is off. So the final steps here are to build some bristles. Move on to the green layer. Come into the top view. And a bristle is basically going to be a cylinder. Solid, cylinder, and the base of the cylinder, I'm just going to build it. Start sort of in the corner here, and click. And I'm just drawing the size visually. I'm going to draw a nice small circle here, and click. And if we come into the you here. I'm going to extend this longer than it needs be because we're going to cut the bristles to length. So there's one bristle. I'm going to copy it and just make a few copies here. It's about good. And I'm going to take this little section and create an array. So transform array rectangular and the number in the x direction I'm going to try 
5, number in the Y, try 12, and number is Z, we're just going to do 1, and I'm going to just draw the box for the spacing, so click and hold and drag out and let go, and click again. Spacing seems to be a little tight. I'm going to change my Y spacing here. Just hold and shift, clicking two points, space them farther apart, and same with the X. Make that farther, click, shift, and click again. That's a little better. Looks like we don't need so many, so the Y number should be about nine. And the X, just going to tighten up the spacing a little bit in the X and see if we can fit all five. If not, do the four and right click to complete the command. There we go. And I'll eliminate this last row and just center these up on here. So I'm not going to need this group. That group, or either of those, we can delete them. I'm going to take all of these, and we're going to rotate them. Click once, shift, click again, and lift it at an angle. Bring them up into position. Looks like we have a couple here that are hanging off the side. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those couple groups. There we go. Shade it in. So we've got some bristles there. I'm going to cut the bristle heads. So, I'm going to draw a freeform curve, and I'm going to close this curve up with a few lines. Join these all together, and do an extrude. So, solid, extrude, planar curve, straight, both sides option on this out beyond all the bristles and now we can do a boolean difference so I'm going to select all the bristles here solid difference delete input is on select the object the second set and right click and I'm going to put this on another layer here and put the bristles on the same layer with the brush and shade it in and there we have it, the toothbrush. And that's going to conclude this lesson.